I, I think it's important the, because we're going to turn out the, of the, the economy. Debate, thank Margaret, you. Margaret, the, the, the rules were that the you economy, guys weren't going to fact check. And since you're fact checking me, I think it's important to say what's actually going on. Hello Homo Sapiens and welcome back to a new video. So my last video was about the 2024 presidential debate between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. And in that video, I was kind of negative. I was negative about the debate, the false fact checking, the fact that Kamala never got fact checked despite her numerous apparent lies. The fact that Trump's performance wasn't ideal, it wasn't what I expected of him, right? He did horrible in the debate, easily got enraged, it was sad to look at. You know, that video, I said my opinion and that video got disliked bomb. that's like my, my most disliked video. It has like a 20% dislike ratio, which is f***ing hilarious. But recently there was another debate, the vice presidential debate between Tim Walls and JD Vance. And this debate was a lot better, JD Vance did amazing, okay? He was talking eloquently, he was answering every question pretty much, you know, he was giving straight answers, he was trying to be nice to Walls. He really didn't even gaff in the debate, there's nothing really stupid that could have been clipped. He did great is what I'm saying. It was an amazing performance, he outshined Trump from the previous debate, which is amazing to see, it's a great to see because now we have an actual good debate performance an actually good thing to represent us so tim walls on the other hand he did horrible in the debate just look at the guy he was constantly like stuttering looking frantic he'd take he'd take his pen and paper because they have notes on the debates they can write down stuff they like frantically write down stuff while jd vance is talking you could barely even see his face in the debate you could only see his bald ass head while he was looking down at his paper writing frantically it wasn't the best for the guy he accidentally stuttered and said he was friends with school shooters which is such a retarded mistake to make how do you accidentally say you're friends with school shooters that's another thing you previously opposed an assault weapons ban but it's only later in your political career did you change your position why yeah i sat in that office with those sandy hook parents i've become friends with school shooters i've seen them. i bet before the debate our favorite hindu black kurdish turkish whatever the fish uh vice president kamala harris went up to his ear cackling and cackling laughing at him going Haha, you gotta win this debate for me man you gotta win this we gotta win this you know, win the debate, win the debate, we gotta win this debate. Just cackling in his ear, just laughing. And I bet that scared him, you know, he was stressed out. Like, how do I Im impress her? How do I make Kamala Harris happy? How do I show her that I'm a good candidate? She picked the right guy. And the answer is that he can't. She didn't pick the right guy. A clip that went kind of semi-viral from the debate is JD Vance with the whole uh, fact check thing, right? They try to fact check him. And so he said, no to your fact checked. I'm a fact check you guys. And eventually they muted his microphone. And there's two reasons reactions to this clip you have liberals online saying how the f why is he getting so mad he's so childish what the fuck man this guy's such a weirdo 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 you know that's what they're saying conservatives are saying you know based epic you know fact checking the fact checkers that's an alpha move he's a sigma you know and that's kind of true Thank you, Governor. And just to clarify for our viewers, Springfield, Ohio does have a large number of Haitian migrants who have legal status, sure. temporary protected status. Well, Mar Mar Nora, Margaret, but, but thank you, Senator. We have no, 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 so course. much to get to. Margaret, thank I, you, I think Nora. it's important the, because we're going to turn out the, of the, the economy. Debate, thank Margaret, you, Margaret. The, the rules were that the you economy, guys weren't going to fact check, and since you're fact checking me, I think it's important to say what's actually going on. So there's an application called the CBP One app where you can go on as an illegal migrant, apply for asylum or apply for parole, and be granted legal status at the wave of a Kamala Harris open border wand. That is not a person coming in, applying for a green card and waiting for 10 years. That Thank is you, the Senator. facilitation of illegal immigration, Margaret, by Thank our you, own. Senator. Online, he posted a prayer, I think. He said that I prayed, I had this prayer ready before the debate and that motivated him, which is great to see. Great to see epic Christian shit. It's just like one screenshot that went viral from the debate, which basically features Tim Walls and JD Vance. JD Vance is on the left looking kind of smug and you have Tim Walls looking at the camera screaming you know and that's the best representation of the debate that's what it was you had JD Vance doing great amazing and Tim Walls looking at it like an absolute dumbass um something i can say for both teams is it was really peaceful right they did multiple handshakes they were like you know i i agree with your policy you're doing great that they both say that to each other like they were being nice which was nice to see and they had the closing statements uh jd vance said i'm rooting for you god bless 
that was pretty nice you know he did great it was smooth his debate performance was amazing but that's basically it i know i wanted to make this short video you know two short videos in a row talking about both of the debates so i can cover them Vance did great i'm happy i'm cheerful thank you for watching i'll see you all next time god bless love you